Hello everyone, joining us here on the stream. This is uh, Poindexter G. I'm joined here with Dream Carver, and the two of us are going to be taking a look at Darth Kali's Mamotaro deck. I believe I am pronouncing that correctly. Um, this is um, the deck that is the current um, current deck highlighted in the uh, unmatched uh, playtesting guild and this is the most recent version of it there were a number of changes that were made um, after the playtest on uh, that zero skater had done um, so we've got a whole new deck out here not a whole new deck but a deck with a number of changes including some of these uh, double attacks um, these new um, mechanic brought to us by uh, the Battle of Legends volume 2 so um you said that you um had gotten to play this um character before um kind of before it went into the playtesting guild i did yeah no and from then uh definitely a very fun deck and mm -hmm. i'm sure all the changes have been good i remember seeing at least the changes i have seen happen mm -hmm. and i've run the test after those changes have all been really good and i've heard good things about this change as well yeah and so we're going to be Definitely interested to see all of that. Um, I guess the interesting thing for anyone that hasn't seen this character, the thing that is unique with him is that he's got three different sidekicks. Dog, Monkey, and Pheasant. Um, Momotaro all going back to like a really old um, Japanese um, kind of story that's um, been around in their culture for a long time. But um, this isn't like a Buffy-like uh, multiple sidekicks where you're choosing one at the start of it. You actually switch your um, switch your fighter around throughout the game at different times. And Momotaro's special ability is determined by which sidekick is currently in play, which is a very unique way of doing things. Um, and brings up a whole different level of... Uh, Whole different level of interest there um we've got dog which gives us um all of his cards get a plus one whenever dog is adjacent to momotaro whenever monkey is in play he can move through opposing fighters that means momotaro could move through opposing fighters and pheasant makes momotaro ranged um, and as we look through here, we can see we've got one, I think the most recent change that we made was that aforementioned uh, double attack here, or the bonus attack that we see from the uh, volume two um, type of decks there. So I guess we are ready to go this, unless you have anything else you need to say about the character. Um, I don't know. Uh... One thing is, in terms of the changing out the sidekicks, mm -hmm. um, that's been uh, a mechanic that I think flows really well with a lot of the abilities. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one thing I do like is whenever one of them gets defeated, you just immediately replace them. I believe is how it works. Yeah, one is yeah. defeated, replaces one yeah. undefeated. Like, yeah, so it's always you've always got a sidekick, and you can alternate using the different cards um, for which ones are going to be helpful in the situation. And uh, and some of the older versions I played with, Dog was like significantly better than the others. But I've heard with the some of the new changes, Pheasant mm -hmm. starts to shine. So that'll be yeah. uh, that'll be nice to see. And then one of the changes from um, the play on uh, Zero Skaters was that um, there are some cards in there for the sidekicks that are specific to the individual sidekicks, but they are just one-off cards. And there's some ways to actually bring them back into the deck and reuse them now. So yeah, I think bringing actually, them back is the new bit. Yeah, yeah, and that's definitely good there. And as you can see here, each of the sidekicks have their own separate health dial on here, so they're separate things. He's made this one giant card here to kind of help you keep all of them straight. Um, we've got a really amazing looking um, figure here for uh, Momotaro, um, the full color thing, which is more than I've ever been able to do on... Uh, <laughs> on tabletop simulator so that is really awesome looking and just a really good nice looking artwork on everything on it I know that that's kind of just a bonus and kind of additional stuff that's not you know technically necessary for it but I think it really makes 
some of these decks are really nice when they've got a, a nice cohesive art style to all of them that looks really yeah, sharp uh, I think there. Probably does a good job with uh, the yeah. presentation for his decks in this oh, one. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like yeah, this is, thing. yeah, this is really clean. Um, all right, so um, do you have a preference on um, playing um, as or against first off? or? Um, I think I'd like to if I could play as him for first in okay. the second game you could yeah, play against. Yeah, we can definitely do that. I can try to figure out who I am going to try to go up against him with. Uh, I'll grab the coin for us. Okay. If I can. I don't think I can. Tabletop's moving oh, a little oh, slow right now. Oh, give me a second here. I may need to... Let me promote you. Now you're promoted. I forgot to do cool. that. Cool. Thank you. No problem. I forget all the time, too. Yeah. Yeah, forget it. Alright, do you want to be heads or tails? Um... I guess oh, I will tails. go with... I'll go with tails. Right, it is heads. heads. Right, right, so I guess it's just picking a character for me. Well, let me let me see. I don't I have not really thought about this a whole lot as far as who goes up against him anyway. But let's go with Alice. I think that's kind of a uh, middle of the road character there. So a good good play test one. I was thinking about grabbing a. Uh, a volume two character, but I don't know any of those well enough yet to really get mm -hmm. any good yeah. information out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Oss is a good call. She has plenty of unique things. Oh, and yeah. 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 What do we want for a board here? You want to pick a board or you want me to pick one? Uh, I, I can pick, I guess. Okay. Or no, you can pick and then I pick which uh, spot I go in first. Okay. One. That will work. Let me go with, I'm going to go with my standard neutral board of Sunnydale. I'm ready to go whenever you are. Alright. I'm going to maneuver. Um, no, uh, I'm going to move the... What kind of word is it? It's a pheasant. Moving the pheasant over here. And Momotar has three move. Uh, yep, so. I don't want to get too far away from that. Three. That'll work for me. The pheasant here is going to attack the Jabberwock. Okay. It okay. is a two against one. Okay. So I'm going to take one damage on that one. I will draw my card. Mm -hmm. And then I'm attacking with a three, but immediately switch out. That switches out. Definitely yeah. an interesting situation where it goes from range to melee, but mm -hmm. uh, we've seen previously with like skirmishes, right? Oh, yeah. If you skirmish away from volley and you're out of range, or you know any of the other bonus decks and you're out of range, it still heads anyways. So yeah, I, yeah, that's, that applies. To yeah, that is my mind. understanding as well. Is that uh, once the attack starts, it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to take that second three, or the second half of it there. Yep. I think two three is also a nice uh, choice for the values. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to do it. You don't want um, you don't want those uh, those bonus attacks could get out of hand if you designed them poorly. All right. Uh, and that is my turn. Okay. You can move, maneuver, then an attack. So you're up. I'm going to maneuver. And I'm going to have Alice attack Monkey. Not Sun. All right. Not Sun Wukong. A different. A different monkey. Mm -hmm. 
you are large. Okay. Oof, that's rough, because being large, you have the potential to... Uh, end this quick. <laughs> uh, hmm. Uh, okay. I'm... I gotta think about this. Um... Actually, I'm gonna have to take it. Okay. Big Alice is dangerous. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess I still have to do this, even though it's not gonna matter. Oof, so oh. Not one I really want to see. A but, seven. But, yeah? But, yeah. Okay, it's gone. And will be replaced with Bez. All right. Um, eh, actually, I'm gonna replace it with a doll. Okay, I gotta drop monkey down to zero. Okay. And move. That's no good. Okay. Okay, my turn. Yep, should be. I'm going to maneuver. One. One, two. And uh, Momotaro is going to attack a house. Okay. Ah, very good call. Yeah, yeah. So, I have plus one right now, so it's a three. Okay. Okay, that's right, you have the plus one, so that would be... Uh, it's to oh, Alice. Sorry, it's right. to Alice, you're right. Okay, no problem. So that would be the only one. Yeah, and that is my turn. Okay. And I will maneuver. Jabberwock attack dog. Alright. Dog will defend. I think. Okay. Two damage. So that's just two damage. Alright. I'm going to. Uh, my turn, right? Alright. I'm going to use Tagden. Swap the dog with a pheasant and do one damage to the Jabwalk. Okay. And then I'm going to maneuver. Two. That's not one, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, your turn. To maneuver. And I'm going to boost my maneuver. And then I'm going to have Alice attack Momotaro. Okay, you're a bit. Alright, mm -hmm. Momotaro defend. Oh, another one. Very nice. So okay, currently so you have a five against have four. Pheasant, so it's gonna. Well, mine's after combat, so okay. yeah, your during will go first. Okay. Let's see. Oof. The two. It's a faint. But yeah. So that's gonna be five. So that'll be a seven to a four there. He defended high. Oh, three down. And then your after effect was. I know this was one of the cards that was changed um, yeah. from that, that it's now got a, the effect uh, varies on each of the specific uh, sidekicks there. So with Pheasant, that is going to be one damage to each fighter in Momotaur's, opposing fighter in Momotaur's zone, so that will be one damage to Alice. Right, yeah, the job right. is safe. Yeah. All right. Uh Let's see. 
Alright, uh, Momotaro will attack Alice. Okay. Oh, very nice. So one goes through. So one goes through. Choose one. I got both. Yeah, I was just seeing what that was. I know mine's first, but I was mm -hmm. just seeing if it was anything relevant to me there. So we're going to do that. That was um, your first um, action, correct? It was, yes. Okay. And then for my second action, okay, for this, for the second thing I will do then is I will go over there. And then I brought Alice down one, so I needed to bring her up three. To fall. Right. Switch the dog in, and then I can move either of them up to four spaces. Um, let's see. Oh, I should count it a little better there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to move the dog right there. And then maneuver. That could go there. Oh, actually, let's see. Four, three, four. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try this. Oh, I can like this spot. All right, your turn. Right, I'm going to maneuver. And I'll maneuver a second time. Just gonna stay down there. All right, then I will also maneuver. Let me describe this real quick. Um, and grab one and one. Then go maneuver again. I'm gonna stay there. Your turn. All right. We'll maneuver. Again. Yeah, I'll stay there. Okay, I'm going to maneuver. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. This is a position I really like for him. You can have the dog back when I'm left with the values, but yeah. protected. Yeah, and dog's not in danger. So. Um, let's see. I'm going to attack Alice with this one. Okay. Okay. Nice, four is good. This is a three value ambush. That, that is, is the worst case scenario. That, that is the worst is. case scenario. That absolutely oh. is. So that makes this a seven, seven against four. Seven against four. So I'm going to take three. Oof. Tragic. I almost defended with that instead of saving it, but yeah, I will. That is my turn. It's your turn. All right, I'm going to have Alice attack Momotaro. Momotaro will defend the three value faint. Faint. Okay. You have a six value skirmish. Ouch. One, two, three. Two. 
I'll go ahead and play uh, Drink Me. So maybe change size and I'll draw two cards. All right. And that should be your turn. Yeah, I will maneuver. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then I will maneuver again. Um. Hmm. One, two. Yeah, we'll say one, two. Actually, we'll rewind. No, I can do that one, too. Alright, your turn. Okay. Okay, we get a maneuver. Attack the Jabberwock. Okay. I'm gonna take that. This is a three plus one for the dog, so it's a four value. Okay. The dog switches out with the pheasant. And I get to move one of my fighters up to four spaces. Um, three, four, right? No, three. Oh, no, it's four. It is four. Yeah, we're going to try that. All right. It is your turn. Change my size. And have Alice at oh, what am I doing there? Have Alice attack pheasant. All right, the pheasant will defend. Faint, but I at least get a big faint. Yeah, for sure. No, I, that's a waste of a faint for me. Um, I think faints are probably more important against. I don't know. Yeah, faints are useful in general. Alice, right. Alice is weird to play faints against. Um, knowing when to do mm. them with her is always uh, definitely momentous shift. <laughs> right, oh, yeah. is like one. Yeah. Uh, Max on foe as well sometimes. All right, uh, is that your turn? That's my turn. I'm gonna use dive bomb. So oh. just a direct two damage. Okay. To Alice. Alright. Didn't even have to move. 
dive no. bomb, which is absolutely not jackalope horns. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to maneuver. Oh. One, two, three. One. No, one, two, three. And I'm actually going to. Let's see. Four cards. You're big. Okay, that is my turn. Okay. Can maneuver. I can boost my maneuver. Pheasant. Poor pheasant, your turn. Or no, your turn. Yeah, uh, it takes it. Okay. That's a four. It's a four. Okay, so I get to move up to five spaces. And change size. Ooh. I'm going to maneuver. One, two, three. One, two, oh, three. Man. Oh, man. Okay. Maneuver. One, two, three. And one. Your turn. Okay. Gonna maneuver. Now maneuver. Alright. It is your turn. Nice. I finally got the healing item. <laughs> oh. So they're each gonna recover two health, which nice. is good because I only have one of them yeah. left. Yeah, it's definitely good. Um, I have six. So I'm gonna maneuver. Let's see. One, two. One, two. Six, go one. No, I don't like that. We're back to that. The dog's not gonna move, Moment's heart's gonna go there. Okay, now nope. Your turn. Okay, going to maneuver. Now. Uh, did you maneuver first? I maneuver. Yeah, I did maneuver once. I maneuvered and drew, and then played this game. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Um. All right. I will also be maneuvering. Attack Alice. Okay. Oh, oh. I grabbed the wrong card. But okay. Fortunately, that's not relevant. Yep. Not horribly. Ah, oh, oh, I had to defend with the shift. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, it's a four yep. against three. Yep. With the boost. Alright, go ahead. Uh oh. 
man. So, I don't think it does any damage. Four against four. Yeah, no damage. But. Yeah. Alright. Your turn. So, what I was having in yours was, uh, that was a four. So, okay, so no damage, but. Oh, wait. Oh, are you big or are you small? Oh, you're big. big. Okay, then. I am big, so. Oh, yeah, one damage on it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were small still. Cool. to attack him on with Taro. Oh, Taro will defend. Ah. Oh. I search my discard for a sidekick card reveal and add it to my hand. Yeah, it's a three any... against three. Yeah, I guess you get dog's card. Oh, so it's yeah. four. Well, I haven't used Dog's card, actually. So yeah. all, the only one I can take back is Pheasant. Well, well deck or discard pile. Ah. Uh, so, well. if you feel like pulling it out of your deck, <laughs> I'll be taking Pheasant back from discard. It's yep. a three dose. Okay. And then for my second action, I shall attack. Cool. And did you draw your card for Reaper? Oh, I did not, but I need to. Okay, yeah, your hand was looking kind of low, so yeah, sure. yeah, that's a good. Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, we both had three, so I only draw the one. Five against three. Yeah, five against Damage three. Goes through. Or stuff. Okay, so that's okay. That's that's basically a moment of shift. It just has a. Uh, little clarification for the sidekicks that if they started off the exactly. board that they can activate it. Yeah. And I get to move up to two spaces. Go here. And that also changes my size. Yep. Alright, I'm going to maneuver. Um do this. Alright. Um, you're small? Okay. Uh, is going to attack Alice. Okay. okay. So there's a three and mine is a six. Because there's no yeah. sidekicks that are alive off the board, but yeah. because the dog is next to me, I get the plus one. Spaces and change size. So change five. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Go to maneuver. Second time. There you go. All right, I'm going to maneuver and I will boost the maneuver using my pheasant card. So now I have six movement right now. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. The. I'm gonna have Momotaro attack Alice. Alright, I'm gonna take it. Ah, that's a six. Okay. Yep, I was not drawing any, any more defense there. Kinda burned up most of those. I had dog in my hand. That's why I went for back for pheasant. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's like all a bunch of big attacks. Man. Yeah, they all. Yeah, those are like the four best attacks in the deck. Yeah. Oh no. They're down. Yeah, they're down low. Well, these two aren't doing anything. But um, what else did I have left here? I had 
one, only one more defense card available there. But yeah, I had like Frabjous Day and Snickersnack were down at the bottom. What's the boost on the Jarwall cards, twos? Yeah, if you maneuvered and boosted, you could have tried to get further away. Oh, I'll be one, yeah, two, three. I probably three. should have. Ah, actually, I don't know where you could have gone to, because over here, yeah. one, two, three. Nope. Of course, I had the, the three boosts. So. Yeah, I thought about actually, running up there and just hitting you with uh, hitting you with something just to do it. Um, but I knew you had dogs cards, so it was going to... I had just gotten this one. Yeah. So that's a four right there, yeah. which would have helped. Oh, Peach Defense. Yeah, that I wouldn't have done a lot. And I knew you had Dog's card because you drew a good boy. Which we didn't get to mm -hmm. see. Good boy. <laughs> oh, there's the other heel. Oh, here's another oh heel I didn't get there. that on the experience. Yeah, yeah, and you were, you were rough. Those ambushes took oh, those some are pretty big cards there, taking them over brutal. to shift and, uh, and a looking glass. That looking glass is total. It absolutely turned that game from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From, at that point, that decided the game. That's just how ambush works, and okay. I think it works for. Them. Oh yeah, but it does. The ambush is just a terrifying card. You just gotta always remember that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. I think Alice though is just particularly susceptible to ambush mm -hmm. because of the value of her two defense cards. Yeah. Whereas a lot of other characters really can take ambushes. Like it sucks, but yeah. like they. They have yeah. enough in their kit. Like Momotaro, actually. If you had ambush Momotaro, you could take something really important to him away, but it would not derail his whole deck. Whereas Alice and Dracula have uh, something different to say. Oh, yeah. And they've got... And Alice has got a lot of high boost values anyway. You know, not a lot of ones. That's also true. There. Not a lot of ones in there. So, Besides, if you're lucky and get the right ones, it can just be a big... Big high value on it there. Alrighty. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I, we didn't get to see the different abilities for the sidekicks quite as much or Yajutsu stance, but that's, I think, just because of Alice. Alice is a character you really can't throw your forehead point sidekicks at because she will eat them alive. Yeah. So, and I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't sure what the best tactic was, so I just tried going after sidekicks hard. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, I sure. hit them Alice pretty good, but I didn't do a lot to Momotaro himself because he's still, you know. He's still in pretty good shape. Um, that is after some healing, but you know, mm -hmm. he's still in pretty good shape there. But you know, I thought, particularly getting rid of pheasant, um, yeah. although dog would be nice to get over that buff. Um, yes, but with dog, I'm not going to let you do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> like that's kind of yeah. that's how we have dog out. I think it's just fun having um, oh, yeah. Momotaro like in a corner, not in a corner, in a mm -hmm. corridor uh -huh. with the opponent in front of them, and dog right behind him, and no one can touch dog, and you just get a plus one the whole time. Um, although when I tried that, you did hit me with like a something pretty. Na oh, that skirmish! Yeah, I fainted your skirmish and still took three damage. That mm -hmm. was scary. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, well, I can. Uh, group B. Yeah, 30. Yep. Yeah, let's reset the health, and we can bring it all over to you. I'm trying to think who who could we see that would let hmm. they're like the, the sidekicks shine like the end of the day they're just the sidekicks right they don't need to be the main focus but they they've become uh, I think more of a focus I want to I want to get to see that um they still did plenty last game though um, yeah and you know just the sidekicks the way that they affect him with Haro with his ability um, good to see some of that. I think actually a pretty interesting match could be uh, Invisible Man. I'm not like very, I'm not super good at him, but he's, he has a lot of fun, and I think that could be interesting seeing how well, yeah, the different sidekicks work in this situation. Well, then you get to pick a map this time. We're gonna keep it big. It's, it's not a big map he can run around. Yeah, oh, I like yeah. Soho. Soho's a nice one. Soho has become like my go to. I went first last time, um, so you can go first this time. Okay, so I. 
this is something that's kind of important to work out here. I'm choosing the sidekick at the start of the game. This is before I draw or anything. I've got to pick my sidekick. So um, when the effect swaps the sidekick, place the new sidekick in Mamatoro's zone. So do they have to swap into the same spot? Or is it just anywhere in his zone? I believe it's the same spot. The same spot. Okay. I wasn't certain on that. I know that would have some pretty big ramifications. It does. When me and my friend first started playing with um, the new decks, mm -hmm. the new stuff, uh, we forgot Sun Wukong had to put his clones in an adjacent space. So he made him even more bust oh, than he already oh is. Yeah, that he's... was just his zone. It was yeah, terrifying. That would, that would be crazy. Yeah, we'll just let him keep them adjacent. We definitely don't want to. Please. Please. Don't wanna <laughs> That's go all. In, don't want to go into that madness. All Turns right. into a ranged character. Yeah. Here. And I do like one of the nice things in Tabletop Simulator. If we grab this card, the tokens on it move with it. I did draw for my maneuver, but I have not moved anybody yet. So let's think about what I wanted to do on that count. Here. Alright, I'll stop there. Okay. Hmm. Alright, my turn then? Yeah, it is your turn. I'm gonna maneuver. Then I will maneuver. It is now your turn. something earlier, but I didn't. Okay. Um, I hate doing this here, but I'm going to go ahead and play that. Switch him out the Pheasant. I have to discard a card anyway uh -huh. and maneuver. It's your turn. Okay. Did you get your hand down to seven? 
Yeah, it is at seven because I had seven, but I played this card oh, and then gotcha. drew. Yeah. So I still have the same amount. Yeah, cool. That's a, that's a way to do it. Hmm. I'm gonna maneuver. Okay. One, two. I'm gonna attack Momotaro. Alright. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, so this is gonna be a five. It's just yeah. a three. So I'll take one damage. Yeah. And it is your turn. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have Momotaro attack Invisible Man. The Invisible Man will defend. Yeah, I was waiting for something big. All right, so. What do you have here? Is this a seven? Yeah, it would be a seven because I've got two undefeated off the board. So I'm going to set four, so three damage. And then I get to move in one space, and you get to move a fog token up to three. see any fog token, right? Okay. Let's move this yep, that one included. <laughs> Second action, I will then maneuver. All right, that's my turn. Okay, I'll maneuver and. Unfortunately, I do have seven cards. Only two movements. Um, what do you have? Mm, that's a lot too. Okay, I'm actually gonna back up to and then maneuver. Oh, darn. All right, now I gotta get rid of something. I. I think I'm getting revenge. I'm gonna kick myself for this one. I'm gonna go to Dreaming of Revenge. Okay. Alright, your turn. Okay, I'm going to maneuver. And then I'm in the same zone with Invisible Man, and I'm ranged, so I can attack. Yeah. Okay. This is a three. That's an ambush. Uh oh. All right. Shuffle. Go for it. I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. That's like one of my best cards. Alright, nice. So you got a three against three. So no damage, but that was absolutely a win. <laughs> to make me lose. Reign of Terror is about to use it. Alright, they get a card from it, and I can move a Fog Token up to three spaces. Or the Invisible Man. I'm gonna move a Fog Token. Um. So one, two. Sure. I'll go with that. Alright, my turn? Yep. Should be. Maneuver. This is compelling. Compelling indeed. Alright. Step lightly. Three damage. Okay. Alright, yep, yep, it is. And you get to move any fog token you want up to two spaces. Yep.
an attack, Invisible Man. He will defend. Three against two, and one damage, and you did win. Uh, my after comments go first. I'm going to draw one. And pop right there. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh there. Okay. <laughs> and now you get to do, um, your switch and a move. Okay. Get to move one of my fighters up to four spaces and swap a sidekick. That was your first action, right? Yeah, it was the first action. Here, and then I will switch him with dog. Which one did I have? I guess I didn't have which one I thought I had him. And then for my second action, I'll maneuver. rolling fog and move this fog token right here all the way right there and then going to maneuver one two I'm going to attack dog damage, two against three, then uh, move one fog to space that fighter, I'm going to move this one all the way across to like right there is fine, and then go put him down. Alright, it is um, now your turn. I, yeah, because I did. Yeah. Gain action, maneuver, attack. Okay. Going to maneuver. So we will play that and heal two. And that would be my turn. Okay. Hmm. I will maneuver. I have six fronts. I'm going to maneuver. And stay where I am. Yes. Your turn. Can okay. kind of maneuver. And we will attack Invisible Man. So man will defend. Darn. Not the best one to impossible to see. Because your next attack is still gonna go through and it's a four. Yeah. It's a four. Okay. Defending with confound, which is also four. a four. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it could have been that, but I was hoping it'd be something that hits harder initially. Alright. Alright, okay. you swap your sidekick though. Swap my sidekick out. Swap huh. out with, uh, swap out with pheasant. <laughs> the sidekick being the attacker is a little funny. Um, yeah. But if you attack with Momotar and then you swap the sidekick, and the sidekick's on the other end of the board, they attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's kind of yeah. is, it works with the how bonus attacks already mm -hmm. work, but it does yeah. it does feel a little yeah, bit funny? Yeah, yeah. Thematically, it's a little a little odd. Um, yeah, and it I, could be maybe a sidekick card, but I don't yeah. know. Um, yeah. That might be no, too I'm, much though to not let Momotaro yeah. use it. Yeah. Not confound. I'm gonna let you move your fog. Nice. 
together but you've already got it fairly spread out so I don't know it might have made that one worse <laughs> I feel like it actually was a pretty good spot so I think mail improvements would be like that maybe sure was that right here still thank you I think move it up yeah, yeah, you were you there were because I was Momotaro was attacking, so you had to be there. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Nice. Uh, my turn. Yeah, it should be your turn now. Well, if I'm next, then I'm actually gonna just have I'll have that one be there. Okay. All right. Now it's my turn. Yeah. I will attack Momotaro. Surprise attack. No, um, you do cancel my effects. That's kind of funny. Wait, no. Oh, yeah. Yes, because yours goes yeah, first. Yeah, so my, I don't my move. goes first. Yeah, so I'm just taking the three damage then. <laughs> Actually, would have benefited me if I stayed in the fog and got fainted. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, then. Because your. I mean, yeah, your effects weren't there anyway. Or, I'm not gonna attack, I'm gonna move her. One, two. Your turn. Alright, I'm going to maneuver. And maneuver. Alright, I will stay there. Hmm. Okay. I will maneuver. Nice. Go over here. And use Reign of Terror. I'm going to take two damage. Okay. It's Momotaro. Your turn. Maneuver. Hmm. One, two. You will attack on the tower. Nice. This is a five that you bought to the four. So I take a damage, and then with pheasants, the. Uh effect is deal one damage to each opposing fighter in Momotaro's zone. So. And we are in the same zone? Nice. Yeah, I think that this card helps Pheasant a lot. It yeah. just makes Pheasant quite a bit better. Mm -hmm. Like, that against Outlaws. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, Momotaro will attack Invisible Man. That's why I'll defend. Oh, uh, this again. It's a 7 against 4, 3 damage. Oh, the first time that's happened. Right, he's gonna back up 1, you get to move Fox, so we're gonna have to 3. Oh, you're just to how many? Up to 3 spaces. Where are they? Okay, you're on 1 right now. Damn, let's put you right there. Okay. Alright, for my second one. Sidekicks are okay, but I need the healing, so I'll do that. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna maneuver. Step in and attack. Three. So 
Yours goes first. Okay, so I've searched him. I think I haven't played any of the sidekick ones. So I'll search my deck for it. I will pull out Dive Bomb. And then shuffle that deck up real good. Nice. I'm going to move this one. Questions were two. I think. Well, hmm. All right. We'll call. We'll call at it. No. No. One, two. But he, oh, wait. Uh, and he, does he go to space? Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. Uh, your turn? Okay. We'll go start with this. Five. Oh, yeah. That's scary. Pheasant attack, invisible man. Go with defend. Two, five, five against three. Two damage. I draw a card, and the one I'm currently standing on is going to get moved to. And now you can move uh, any other far token up to two. Gonna maneuver, and then I'm going to maneuver. Let's see if I go one. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Your turn. Okay. Go to maneuver. Six cards. Okay, gun maneuver. Um, I have seven. Okay. I'm gonna use vanish. Heal one. Move him to board. Your turn. I'm gonna just come right back there. And then I'm going to maneuver. And hmm. uh, maneuver again. And I'm gonna discard this one. And it's now your turn. And I'll have 
Mamataro Tank Invisible Man. Who's I able to defend? It's a four. That's an ambush. Ambush shuffle. Go for it. Alright, mm -hmm. two. Five against four. And then I draw three cards and choose two from my hand put on top of the deck. Three. <laughs> There's only one card left. I have to put two back, but I'm going to put this one back and that one back. Seems fair. If I may actually. Yeah, I think yeah, those two. Definitely that one. Maybe this one. Alright, my turn. Huh? It should be. Okay. It's very much down to the wire. Basically, if I don't win right now, you win. So I gotta think this through very carefully. Using the Invisible Man. Okay. Ah, he oh. pulled that out both times with that. Okay, so yeah. mine's a three since I'm adjacent to him. It is. So it's going to be two. Yeah. And then my after comments of his maze on Space the fog token. I move that fog token to another space. Um. Okay. Let's just put it. We'll put it like over there. Because. Alright, with my second action, vanish. Heal one, move from the board. Your turn. An awesome double pass to have. Uh, I'm getting low on cards. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna reappear right there. I'm then going to use Rolling Fog and bring a fog token. No, I'll bring the monster next to me. Bring it right there. I'm then going to. I have two actions now. I'm gonna use Step Lightly and do three damage to Momotaro. And you get to move any fog token up to two spaces. And I have one action left. Okay. You somewhere. I will attack one with Taro. Is it, man? You know, two damage. Man, that code of notes was yeah, that, super that... necessary. The code of notes saved because the bottom one was another code mm -hmm. of notes. But I was able to get the cards I didn't have, but I knew I could get later was I had a rolling fog and a vanish, but I still needed my second step lightly and my second surprise attack. Oh, and I don't think I had this one yet either. So those three together, yeah. Yeah, there's good boy. I was yeah. very, like... Yeah, I had good boy dog. for a little bit. I just hadn't had the right opportunity uh, without just leaving him right next to you. There's both my double attacks. Or two oh, of them there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think a big thing we saw from the sidekicks uh, was Pheasant's range is very nice against um, Invisible Man, but probably, my guess, is other ranged fighters, right? Mm -hmm. That's a test we haven't really... I haven't really seen much of it, I don't think. Yeah, because I, I had Pheasant out for a bit. Once I got um, Good Boy, I brought in Dog, and I was going to try to get him up there, but I never really had yeah. an opportunity where I wasn't just leaving him right next to you. Um, yeah, so did you ever draw the monkey card? The monkey card? I Actually, I um, discarded it to go run yeah. up and attack you that one time that I hit you with... Um, 
remember what it was I hit you with. I think it was that momentous shift like thing or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because that boost you know, up to that, you hit, yeah. I'd say Monkey's abilities seem to be the lamest, but that mm -hmm. card is actually really good. It's a four cancel. It's basically a surprise attack with one less mm -hmm. value and a gain action. Like, like, uh, yeah, I really should have used that last time. Um, I think, oh, I think Monkey went down pretty quick last game. I played with you, right? Yeah, yeah, you just yeah I think he did. Yeah, I just didn't ever bring Monkey out uh, much. Yeah. I started with him and then ran with Pheasant and then switched to Dog. Um, yeah, I think right. if you start with the Edge Two Stance earlier on, because mm -hmm. I like never got till late, and then you also get the Monkey card, um, that's when Monkey can actually be very good. But otherwise, Monkey is just kind of iffy. Yeah. But compared to the other two, which I don't think is a problem. I don't think they all need to be like really no. good, right? No. I like how Pheasant is better now, and that helps. And the Monkey, if anything, is just like kind of an extra bag of HP, so you can switch between the other two. Oh but, yeah, I mean it's I fine. Mean, it's fine to have one, you know, if you need Monkey to just be the one to go out there and take hits instead of your other ones. You know, there's a value to that, definitely. Um, yeah. And he'd be good. Um, this isn't going to be against Invisible Man, but, like, if you were ever to get pinned and you happen to have one of those... Um, the switch out ones. That, that switch out, whatever that card was yeah. called. Tagging in. Oh, um, that one, yeah. Yeah. That would be a great way to get out of the pen, to switch to Monkey, and then bug out of there. <laughs> yeah. No, if you actually had, like, three of the Iajutsu stances in your hand, mm -hmm. all of them, and you had the Monkey card, which is, like, ridiculously unlikely, oh, but yeah. let's say you did, you could run up as Monkey, attack with the Monkey card, gain an action, use the Iajutsu card, gain an action, take back the Monkey card, and no, you don't gain an action. Oh, my word. Um, <laughs> But you just you can alternate like that. I'm pretty sure because wait, action one's maneuver, action two is gain action, action three is he had jutsu. Okay, no, you have to be st the monkey has to survive an attack. You can switch in using one of Momotaro's things probably, and then you can just yeah, you could switch like that. And that'd be crazy. So so monkey could be really good, right? And that that, that part's fun. Monkey's one of those yeah. like very technical, mm -hmm. whereas the other two aren't. A much more straightforward good characters right like the yeah. the dogs most obvious like we all want we all want pluses to our, yeah. our cards yeah uh, yeah just plus um and just plus to your cards not like plus to your attacks um, it used to be plus like, two to attack and mm -hmm. that's it um and i definitely like this a lot more yeah being the two plus the plus ones to both and i think it's okay because mutara doesn't have any card values that are like insane like actually if you had a plus two to attack it might be pushing it but being yeah. plus one to both attack and defense, he's fine. Like, even on defense, he's tankier, but mm -hmm. not, like, anything yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's adding it's something to it there, but it's it definitely helps you absorb a lot of attacks having him near you. Kind of like, mm -hmm. like this guy being on his fog. Um, right. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's exactly right. So, like, he's got... His best one's, like, has four plus one, right? He could he could add one to his four, but so can his man. And I think, yeah, Momotaro having 12 health is... You know, it definitely works. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, I definitely enjoyed doing that. I was wanting to give this character a, a try. I'd seen him get you know updated a bit and saw him in some of the other play tests, and I hadn't had a chance to do anything with him. I had a weird couple of weeks and hadn't been able to get out mm -hmm. with it. So, yeah, no, I just started uh, university, so I like got a game oh, in yeah. and then couldn't play any more with him for like two weeks. So oh, yeah. now that these things are three weeks, I actually have time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the fact that this was three weeks is the only reason I even got in here on it. Um, and I think that's a good time frame, because that lets time for some of the other stuff to get in there. Um, yep. You know, to see some of the other ones, particularly some of the other streamed ones, just because it's, it's nice for the creator to be able to, to actually see what's going on in there, um, you know, versus just the descriptions that you get um, from the others. That's definitely helpful, and I liked being able to play this after him having a few iterations and changes there. Yeah, I think this is like, yeah, he looks great right now. And yeah, this is... I a, think the only thing is the bonus deck is a bit iffy, but I don't know what the solution would be, other yeah. than maybe making it a sidekick only card, but just that hurts Motaro. Maybe making it so the immediately only happens if the sidekick made the first attack, mm. but that might be too hard to fit. But if that if that's if that can be fit, I think that's a fine solution. Otherwise, it is what it is. I don't think it's too weird. Yeah. Um, 
I think we may have to see some games played anyway, uh, just to see how those bonus attacks are going to feel in general. Um, although I know they've done mm -hmm. a ton of play testing with you know, the Volume 2 characters, but you know, mm -hmm. that's kind of, now that that's come out there, it's kind of come in vogue to give your, uh, give your custom decks um, some of those bonus attacks. <laughs> yeah, I've only given two, actually. Um, one of my oldest ones was like, I will eventually, but mm -hmm. I ended up coming with an idea I like more, so I just stick with that on him. Yeah, so I, have not, I haven't yet. But... I have not changed any of mine um, to put that in there. Um, I might could like retool like one of Don Quixote's um, attacks, but I kind of like mm -hmm. how that deck came out so much. I may just leave him alone. Um, Right, I mean, Alice still holds her own against the new oh, characters. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> the yeah, same kind of play to new characters. Yeah, there there was concerns early when we first saw them that the uh, bonus attacks may just you know break the game in some regards, but I don't think that's going to happen. It looks like you know the old characters can still. Most of the old characters have somebody in Volume Two that they're very good into, um, you know, except for your you know low tier old characters um, yeah. everybody else generally has someone that they, they work really well into so they, they, they think about that really well when they design these things so yeah it's yeah no it makes me excited for maybe getting something else like that down the line mm -hmm. for oh yeah definitely a different, you know volume three volume four however yeah. long they do this for <laughs> oh yeah and i'm curious to see how how the bonus attacks are implemented in the future you know how many other fighters end up with those um you know how how prevalent yeah. is that gonna be yeah uh, yeah i'm hoping that not every single deck from now on that they make has bonus attack that'd be a little i don't think they will i think no, it's I, I, a they, full they, mechanic for some to have but not everyone needs and yeah, they, they further establish that yeah they definitely like to shuffle things up i mean one thing we saw in volume two is they were definitely willing to run out some more fighters that don't have you know feints um in their deck um so, I mean, they're definitely willing to push against what we kind of think to be the, the standard layout for a deck. You know, they're, they're willing to go a little different with it there. Well, this was definitely yeah. fun there. Um, I, yeah, me too. I had fun doing it there, and hopefully Darth Kali is able to get some more you know, information out of this here, you know, on top of what else he's already gotten from everyone else that's played the character. Um mm -hmm. So, yeah, I will uh, see you around on the Discord then. Yeah, thanks for playing. Mm -hmm. And, like, saying you had the whole Twitch thing hopped on. It's fun. All right, thanks.